it's time to head into the opposite of this award. We talked about the men. We t- almost sounded, you know, pretty uh, fruity in our conversation. But that's <laughs> okay because <laughs> we're not scared to be open about our feelings. You know what I mean? We Even if we don't like men like that, we can see it in them. And we can be like, hey, that's a man right there. But we also <laughs> got to right. admit that, hey. That's a wifey right there. That's a waifu material right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. As we head into America's next top wife. <laughs> as we enter this amazing conversation about a bunch of different female characters and the different aspects we liked about them, not including just appearances. And to start you off today, it's going to be me talking about Caitlyn from Arcane League of Legends story. Now, you may be saying... Why Kaylin? She's not necessarily super duper attractive. She's not super duper great because she holds you down, man. She got with V and protected V and helped fight alongside her despite being so rich up in the ivory tower and not needing to help anyone. She still did. She helped the people, tried to help her out with her sister and everything was going on there. You get injured, that's all right. I'll find a way to patch you up and I'll sneak you into my big ass penthouse house to do it. I will put myself on the line to make sure you're okay. And that to me embodies greatness and someone that deserves to be on the top wifey list. Well, don't you worry. We got number two right here. And I love this person. It is Hayasaka from Kaguya-sama. Love is war. Hayasaka. Now, Hayasaka also makes it on this list a bit more for her attractiveness as well. Totally fine. But... Hayasaka does everything for uh, for Kaguya throughout the series. She's like her personal assistant or her butler or whatever. She gets, I think she gets paid for it. I don't know. But she carries her in the backpack throughout the entire show. She helps or even just straight up makes the decisions for her in a lot of ways with her relationship or whatever with Shirogane. She makes the decisions. She tells kaguya what to do how to handle things because she knows how to do it she's taking care of kaguya and then at one point just to make a point to her she tries to go and steal shirogane and the only reason she didn't is because she didn't have enough time she could have done that just because she wanted to not for any like just just because kaguya said that she couldn't and she was like oh watch this and so she would have done it but even so all she was doing was looking out for kaguya's best interest and she doesn't get the credit she deserves from anyone in that show, which is a shame because she'll get all the credit she needs right here. She's holding it down. She holds down Kaguya, even Shirogane a little bit. She's working behind the scenes all the time, doing the work that needs to be done that other people aren't going to do. Hayasaka is amazing. Number one on this year's top wifey list we have nagamo miss nagamo from summertime rendering now you talk about probably the most badass female character that we saw the entire year she doesn't need anybody to hold her down as neo said miss independent that's why i love her she is the most independent woman slash man i guess (laughs) that we've seen in this show in, in this in this year honestly she can do everything herself and add in the fact that I don't even think it's debatable, at least not among us, that she is the most attractive character that we've seen this year. Um, those two factors make her top on our waifu list, waifi list, I guess, with the uh, live actions as well. Um, yeah, that's all I got, honestly. So this year, Nagamo takes home the Sims Paradise Award for top waifi slash waifu <laughs> of the year. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not looking good for her, though. It's not. She must go toe to toe with the Mike Tyson of the (laughs) wifey division, Marta from Dark. (laughs) It's a wrap. It's not. Marta knocked her out in the first round. (laughs) Yeah, twenty seconds, bro. She was undefeated, and then met Marta. But you know what that means, though, with Marta retaining her title and the new champion, the top. Technically, the king and queen, the top pair, is Tengen and Marta. Hey. What a power couple. What a power power couple. couple. 
That's I, insane to me. I just don't. I don't see how anyone can really <laughs> break this up. <laughs> that's unreal, dog. You know, they Marta has been paired up at this point with three different men. And yet she's still holding out at top her <laughs> throne. You don't understand. It's going to be tough for y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> who's who's Ted getting given the crown to next year, bro? That's the only. That's the first one that's changed every year, dude. You see, my thing is, man, the only downfall for Martha at this point, she can't hold down a male counterpart no, in no, the no, awards no, no. list. That's not what it True. is. That's not what it is at all. Is that they're not good enough for her, so she dumps them. So, Fair enough. That's she's all it is. looking like Adonis Creed, and she's asking like he asked, <laughs> who's next? Who's next? You pick them. Who's next? Because she's knocking out the competition. 